So this is Vinzil Chabria, uh, who teaches English as a profession. Mm. So Vinzil, tell us uh, where did you study and what courses you know, did you take? Okay, I started my career actually. I uh, have done my BCom, I've done my LLB. I started off as a lawyer, then gave it up, uh, gave up uh, being a lawyer and started teaching eight years ago. Okay. So what motivated you to choose becoming a lawyer and then becoming a teacher? Okay, I enjoyed being a lawyer. It is it is very challenging, motivating. However, I had to make choices and uh, I used to love teaching. And uh, it became very difficult to manage a home with, with the profession I had because of uh, no fixed hours and... Um, no time schedule so i prefer teaching because then you have you can manage your time better okay so which organizations have you worked for okay i used to work i started my career with shelters a city bank uh, it was a city bank mortgage department and then i joined uh, afs which was uh, which i used to do fair financial accounting but I used to be in fraud control for airlines, Swiss Air, and I worked there for nine years. Then I took a nine-year break, and then I started again. And I have my own profession, um, own uh, own company. Okay. So, how do you use technology, and how do you think uh, it will impact your line of business in the future? Uh, well, um, uh, fortunately, for the last three years, I have been teaching online. So, and I have been working from home. So it is, I think, the way to go for most industries. But it's going to be difficult for people who actually need to be working face to face with anybody. Yes, so if you have to go to your workplace, I think then it's okay. But I'm, I'm actually teaching online and it is benefiting a lot of people. I don't have to commute, so I'm using my time productively. Yeah. So what skills should someone have to succeed in your field? Uh, well, um, I think teaching online is a challenge, okay? Because it's not only your knowledge, but most often the person can't even see you. So I teach telephonic. So I'm, I'm always on oh. a telephone. So it's a voice is very important, okay? And your tone of voice makes a big difference in your whole approach to teaching. Okay, because for example, if you're not, uh, if a learner is opposite you trying to learn a language and you are very, you sound very strict or you sound very closed, the learner is not going to, doesn't get very good signs to open up. Mm. So I think tone of voice is a very big factor with online teaching, especially telephonic. Okay. So how do you measure success? Uh, job satisfaction is very high with success for me. Yes, it's not so much the money because I think money comes, money goes. That uh, I think you need to do something to keep yourself occupied and earn enough to survive. I mean, to, to enjoy life. I mean, I'm not saying extravagant, but uh, I, I look at it more as job satisfaction. Okay. So what guidance do you have for those who are looking to pursue law? and to pursue teaching? Well, I would say follow your dreams, okay? I would uh, also weigh, um, you know, now you have a lot more opportunity to uh, understand industries because of technology, okay? When I was young, I had no no insights to the different, um, different uh, vocations that were there, okay? It was either a doctor, lawyer, or teacher. Yes, but there was a mixed thing at the, that a lawyer would give me more money and I would be professionally well looked at. But in the end, it is job satisfaction. Yes, do what you like uh, and do a lot of research. And I think more than that, talk to people in that industry because yeah. then, you know, then you know the pros and cons of any industry. Yes, because some people love it because they love doing their job, but some people don't like it but do it because of the money yeah okay so you hear different aspects like a teacher's job is not easy okay there involves a lot of preparation there involves a lot of things 
that go behind being a good teacher. So, you know, it's not only teaching, it's not only the presentation, but I think a lot of work goes behind the scene. Okay. Mm -hmm. So, thank you, Vinzel. Thank you for your input.